can also create webinars from within the plugin settings as well. All you need to do is go to the Create a Webinar tab and you can then create your webinar on your actual plugin page. You don't even need to go to the GoToWebinar website. Um, so here I can enter in a custom title for the webinar and also a description. And I can choose uh, the time zone of the webinar here. And I can choose whether the webinar is a single session, a series or a sequence webinar. So I select single session, it enables me to choose a starting date and time and an end date and time. If I'm doing a series webinar, which might comprise of multiple webinars, I can click the little plus icon here and I'll add in multiple uh, webinar times and dates. Um, and I can also reorder the series here by dragging and dropping the webinars into position. I can also do a sequence webinar, which is essentially a webinar which repeats. So if you're doing a weekly webinar that's always on the same date and time, I would use the sequence webinar option here to enter in my date, time, and when the reoccurrence ends, or whether the pattern is um, daily, weekly, or monthly. Once you've entered that information, you just have to click the Create Webinar button, and the webinar will be created um, in the plugin, and it will also, be, of course, be created in GoToWebinar on your account. With WP GoToWebinar Pro, you can also link um, your registration forms to popular email marketing services. Um, this includes ActiveCampaign, Constant Contact and MailChimp. So when people successfully register for a webinar, they can get added to your email marketing list at the same time as well. Um, in this example, I'm just going to um, link up ActiveCampaign um, to the GoToWebinar plugin. So I'm just going to select ActiveCampaign here. And then if I go to my Active Campaign um, dashboard area, and I click my name in the top right hand corner and click on My Settings, you'll then um, see a little um, sidebar um, here with additional settings tabs. If I click on Developer, it'll give me um, API access and I've got a URL as well as a key. If I click on the URL and copy that and put that into the URL area here, and if I go back and get my API key and paste that in there and then click Save All Settings. Once that reloads, it then provides a list of all the different um, active campaign lists that I've created in my account. I've created two little test lists here. So when people register for a webinar, they'll be put onto one of these two lists. So I'm just gonna select Test List for, um, for now. You'll also see a hide opt-in condition on the form. If I check that, it'll hide the opt-in condition on the registration form. Once I've done, I just need to click Save All Settings. Now on my actual registration form, I can enter in my name, my last name, and my email address and click the Submit button. You'll now see in my active campaign account, if I go to List, and I select my test list, you'll now see that I've been added as a new contact into the, um, into the list that I specified in the plugin settings. I can now remarket um, to this particular contact um, through the active campaign management interface.